All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're we're running kind of we're running kind of late, and I actually want to take an extra five or ten minutes because uh, my name is Obi Fernandez. Uh, raise your hand if you know who I am. All right. So kind of a lot of the room, and uh, I loved John's talk. I want to give another round of applause for the talk, man. Yeah. The, the reason is that I could be a poster child for everything that he was talking about. Because back in 2004, um, I embarked on a campaign similar to, to what he was suggesting with blogging. And uh, my, uh, let's see, this is going to be a little small, but this, this was my old blog back then. This was from like 2004 to 2007. I was blogging about Java, and some, some of you, if you know me for a while, I'm a Atlanta guy since 98. So, so. Anyway, I started blogging about Java, and I was kind of out there, and I started blogging about Ruby. And because I blogged about Ruby at a conference, I was approached to write a book. And that book ended up being the Rails way, and then the Rails way was a big success. And because of that, I was able to start HashRocket. And I turned HashRocket into a $7 million company, and I sold it. And then I was able to start other companies. And the book publishing deal turned into a series deal, and it turned into other books. And now I have relationships with uh, Pearson and Addison Wesley and Wiley uh, for my latest book. And, and all this stuff has been on the back of marketing and having a strong web presence, constant blogging, constant tweets, um, you know, having high page rank. Uh, you want to talk about an employer, you, you know, really being impressed when they Google you, you know, try being on Wikipedia and having your own thing come up uh, when someone does a search result for you. So stuff like this really, really works. And I got to tell you that even to this day, sometimes I'm, I'm taken aback and still feel a little bit like an imposter because it's marketing, right? Like amongst my friends, I'm just Obi. I'm just a guy. I'm not like this superstar ego guy or, or whatever. And they make fun of me for shit like this. Incidentally, when I was 32, I dropped F-bombs like non-stop like he did, but I'm a little older now. <laughs> uh, that's, that's me at Burning Man. And I, I still have a contact form on my blog. And, you know, I still take whatever requests come along, just, you know, sometimes for shits and giggles to know what's going on, what people are contacting me for. I get random project requests for, you know, hey, I got a real estate auction site in Florida and I just want some help with it. Everything over to like I work at Thomson Reuters and you know want some enterprise consulting help. All this stuff works. Everything he was saying was super on point. So please do yourself a favor and listen uh, to the who was saying. I mean maybe you just want a calm job and you want to go home and work on your carpentry <laughs> at night and you know you want to make your seventy thousand or whatever, you know the career builder has like two dozen people doing Ruby now. Something like that. Is anyone here from Career Builder? Yeah, more than that. More than that, wow. Um, you want your corporate job, you know, you want to do that, then maybe. Um, <laughs> sorry, no offense. I mean, am, I, am I offending someone? That's, that's, um, but the blogging thing, you know, I, I, I'm so glad he gave this talk because I'm like, shit, I could take some of these pages that get constant traffic and turning them into landing pages and make some money. So I'm going to make some money as a result of today. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to talk to you real, real briefly about uh, a gem. Man, I wish my uh, resolution was different. Let's see if I can change it. Be um, built in. The browser might just be uh, like past the edge of the screen. Yeah, this will, this will be a little better. Uh, OK, there we go. So who's heard of this gem? Whisper. Oh, good. Not that many people. Good. So I'm showing you something new. This is just going to be a few minutes. Um, w there's, there's lots of different little solutions like this, basically for turning any old Ruby class into, into something that can be uh, you can attach listeners to. So to a publisher, there's different ways of calling it. Um, and this is uh, what it looks like when you include, let me make that a little bigger. Yeah, sure. 
Okay, so here's how you publish with Whisper. So any old class can be anything. You include Whisper Publisher, and then you uh, have, you know, these are basically you publish uh, an event. So whatever listener happens to be listening to this instance of this object, you're telling it that, that done something happened. Um, you can pass arbitrary things, whatever you, know, whatever you want to. This is how you subscribe a listener. Uh, and generally, these are, these are classes. The nice thing about these is that they can be very uh, small and discrete, easily testable, uh, as I'll show you in some examples. Uh, you can pass it a block, which I think is probably an anti-pattern. That's Whisper, that's the gem, Chris Leach. And I like seeing real code, I like showing real code. Um, so I figured that I would show you what it actually looks like in one of the projects that we're currently doing right now. Um, so this is, uh, one of my companies is Lean Start Machine on the CTO and I, I still work on some of the code every day. Uh, these are some of our big, ugly uh, controllers. This happens to be one of the bigger controllers in the app, uh, Cities Controller. And if I scroll down here uh, to where we're actually using uh, one of these Whisper uh, things, let's see, where is it? I had it here. Um, okay. So ignore this stuff here, but essentially, oh, this is this is one of the harder ones. Let me show you one of the easier ones. Okay, so. So we have this concept of winning a lottery. It doesn't matter exactly what it is, but the point is that in my controller, uh, I am creating a workflow. The workflow is initialized down here, generate lottery winner workflow. And that is kind of like a little service object that just does the workflow for that stuff. Uh, in this case, it's pretty easy. So in addition to... Um, it's basically added to that controller. It does what it does, and then it publishes either a success or failure. You could say, hey, you know, you could have put this in the controller. In fact, DHH probably would criticize me now and say, hey, vanilla Rails is, is okay. Just put this in the controller. Um, the idea is that a lot of the parts of your app do tend to accrete uh, multiple steps to these workflows. So, you know, now it's not just manipulate a couple objects. It sends some emails. Uh, add it to this mailing list, you know, add it to, you know, send something through Mandrill. Hey, I gave you a plug. Uh, you know, do this and that, logging, whatnot, writing files. Um, so these objects tend to be nicer if you, if you se separate them out. They're procedural by nature, so it's okay to, like, just make them procedural and test them as such. Um, so that's what it ends up looking like here in the controller. So you define... On success, what you're gonna what you're gonna render, otherwise you're gonna redirect. Uh, I have different examples of this. Uh, I think since it's hot in here and it's getting late, if anyone's interested in kind of taking a peek uh, a, a little closer at, at some of this code, just come see me after. Uh, but yeah, that's Whisper, and it's given us a, a lot of uh, good times. So, hey, thanks a lot. <laughs>